Hi guys, welcome back to the Otter server. I have some very exciting news I want to share with you guys, but before we get into that, I feel like I need to give you some background. As you can see here on the screen, CentOS is reaching end of life, and specifically CentOS 7 will be discontinued June 30th, later this year. I've been a CentOS user for a very long time now. I think I started using it around 2004 or 2005, and before that I had developed most of my career working in Red Hat Linux environments. Almost all of my servers here are running CentOS 7. Now, before IBM slash Red Hat did what they did in late 2020, my original plan was to migrate to CentOS 8 and then to CentOS 9 and so on and so forth as I had been doing for almost 20 years. But then IBM did what they did and I've been kind of waiting for the dust to settle to see what my next steps would be. Now, in response to IBM's decision to kill off CentOS, various communities responded with projects like Rocky Linux and Alma Linux. And of course, uh, Oracle raised their hand just to remind people that they still exist. However, initially my mind was undecided and fortunately CentOS 7 support got extended to 2024. So I decided to sit back and just let the dust settle. But today I finally made up my mind and I wanna tell you what and exactly why. So back in 2020, before IBM delivered their Christmas gift and pulled the plug on CentOS, I had been testing out CentOS 8 and realized that it was missing driver support for older LSI controllers like the SAS 2008 cards. I posted about this problem on Red Hat's portal and also made a video showing how to install third-party drivers from El Repo to remedy this issue in CentOS or RHEL 8. I was really hoping that projects like Rocky Linux or Alma Linux would remedy this problem and remove that silly patch that Red Hat had deliberately added to remove support for these older LSI controllers. Three years went by and I hadn't heard anything until this past Monday, the 15th of April. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the announcement page for Alma Linux 9.4 beta. And I was reading through this page and I noticed down here it says renewing support for upstream deprecated hardware. And so that caught my interest uh, specifically because of the LSI driver issue. And then I noticed that they have listed both the Mega Raid SAS and the MPT3 SAS drivers, which are for the uh, LSI Broadcom controllers. So, you know, this got me kind of excited, although at that point I didn't even know the details yet. And so I kept reading this thing and it says, see the extended hardware support section. So I opened up that page, which is over here. And here's the extended hardware support section. And immediately, I think you guys can see uh, what I'm looking at here. This is the uh, SAS 2116 uh, chipset. So that's for the... LSI 9201-16E card, which is you know fairly popular because it's got four ports and all that for a SAS 2 card. And also the SAS 2004, SAS 2008, and then if for the guys who like to use uh, RAID, the SAS 2108 controllers are all here. And even the older uh, you know SAS uh, 1 generation cards are here still. So this got me really excited and I was thinking like, wow, okay, finally, finally, someone's doing what I had been hoping they would do for the last three years. And so anyway, I set up my test server with a whole bunch of uh, old LSI cards in there. And I just got uh, this uh, Alma Linux 9.4 beta installed on it. So anyways, I wanna show you guys that actually works based on, it should work based on what I'm reading here, but let's see it for real. And so anyway, let, let me go show you the server, how I have it set up, let's boot it up. Hey guys, so here I am with the server and you see I have a bunch of PCI cards installed in here. So over here is a 9207-8E and that's based on the uh, SAS 2308 chipset. I've got a 9211-8I, uh, that's based on the SAS 2008 chipset. This one here with the uh, battery connected is an H700, so that's a SAS 2108-based uh, RAID controller, hardware RAID controller. And behind that is the SAS 2116-based 9201-16E. So I've got a couple of different uh, LSI controllers in here that we're going to try out. And over here is the uh, 
USB boot drive where I have the Elma Linux 9.4 beta installed. So let's go ahead and boot this guy up. All right guys, so I'm logged into the server here. So let me just show you that I am running Alma Linux 9.4 beta. And let's run LSPCI and look for all the LSI controllers. All right, so there they are. So here, the first one here is the SAS 2116, uh, which is the 920116E. So that seems to be perfectly working. The next one is the uh, SAS 2308 uh, chipset. That's the 92078E. And so that is also working. And then the next one is the SAS 2008. And so that's the older card. And that is also working. And for those of you guys who want to who wanna use some of the older RAID controllers, so this is a SAS 2108. RAID controller, it's the Dell Perks H700, in fact. You can see right here, H700, and that is also detected and working. So all four of those controllers that I have in that server are detected and working. But one thing I noticed booting this up previously is that here's D message, and you'll notice that it's giving out warnings about unmaintained hardware is detected. So it's, it's considering that these, uh, the driver for these older cards are unmaintained. Now, what I think is a little bit interesting is, you see it, it shows up four times. So it shows up for Mega Raid SAS, so that's probably the H700 for the SAS 2108 RAID controller. Um, it shows up for the, uh, this is PCI slot 03. So hold on a second. Let me take another look here. So PCI slot 03 is the 21116 or the, yeah, the 216, 21, 16, uh, 920116E. So it's considering that as a unmaintained right here, hardware driver, and it's also doing it for yeah, PCI uh, slot 83 here, which is the SAS 2308. So that's a little bit surprising to me because at least with uh, CentOS 8, that was still officially supported. And so I don't know if maybe that also got depre deprecated eventually in CentOS 9. I, I never actually tried CentOS 9. So I don't know why that is listed as um, unmaintained driver as well. But either way, the driver is there and it works. So that's great. And 85, of course, that's the SAS... Um, 2008, so that's for sure here. It's also mentioned as uh, unmaintained hardware. All right. So anyway, the drivers do seem to work. The cards are detected. There is a little warning message here in, in the logs. But, you know, I don't think that's a real issue. I You know, if, if there was a serious data corruption problem in the driver or something like that, I, I, I think somebody's going to fix it you know uh, but those drivers have been around for a very long time and they've been patched and fixed many 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 times over the several years and so i think they're they're pretty pretty darn stable now so with alma linux 9.4 uh, beta we're going to have another uh, centos like or rel like os that doesn't have the silly restrictions of um, disabled uh, drivers, you know, so like my personal hardware actually doesn't benefit from this at all because I have um, more modern hardware. The The next server setup I'm planning to deploy is going to have a SAS 3008 controller in it. So I don't really have this problem myself, but I really just don't like the idea of an artificially created problem where they specifically went in and, and removed support for some of these drivers when a lot, I think a lot of these controllers are still 
fairly relevant. I mean, they're perfectly fine. These even these older uh, SAS 2008 controllers are perfectly fine for you know a, a fairly large up to like at least 16 drives of hard drives. Uh, they would work fine. They have enough bandwidth to handle that. So anyway, I, I just don't like the idea that it was an artificially created problem. I mean, if there was a serious problem and nobody was there to maintain the driver, then okay, I get it. But honestly, you know, I don't think that was it. I think at Red Hat or IBM, some lawyers got involved and, and decided, you know, that was too risky or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know what the true story is. There was never any transparency from Red Hat regarding this issue. So I'm just really, really happy to see that artificial problem is no longer. So that's what made up my mind that I'm going to go with Alma Linux. And just because, you know, there's less bullshit. Okay, so that's, uh, even though I, I, I'm i not necessarily using the deprecated hardware or some of this older hardware that was deprecated in, in RHEL 8 and, and whatnot, I just like the idea that there's less bullshit. And so I'm going to be migrating my servers to Alma Linux uh, 9.4 when this uh, goes into full release. And it's still in beta, so I'm kind of a little apprehensive about that, but I will go with it uh, when it's in full release. And hopefully that'll happen in time for me uh, when CentOS 7 uh, gets discontinued. So yeah, when I saw this uh, release on Monday, I was really, really excited. And uh, I'm really happy to see that they're going in this direction and, and getting, rid of, getting rid of some of that bullshit. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new to this channel and you like this sort of stuff, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss my videos. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description. I've got the greatest selection of pre-flash IT mode HBA SAS controllers for your ZFS Unraid or TrueNAS builds. So go check out the link down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>